Hello and welcome to Paraben Consumer Software's tutorial on how to recover data using the phone recovery stick. Now the phone recovery stick recovers data from Android devices, whether that's tablets or phones, and it recovers from Android devices running uh, any version up to version 6.0. Now for version 5.0 or higher, phones must be rooted um, for us to be able to recover data. We do have a separate tutorial on how to root your device, so please refer to our uh, website for that uh, tutorial. You can find that at www.paraben-sticks.com support, and you can find all sorts of other uh, tutorials and support as well. So, first thing we need to do on the phone is change some settings before we even start uh, the recovery using the phone recovery stick. So on your Android device we need to change two settings. So we need to come into settings. First we're going to allow unknown sources. So under general developer options we need to make sure that this button is checked. It's called USB debugging. Now that might be in a slightly lo different location under your, your device if you've got an older device or um, just a different layout. So under developer options and make sure that USB debugging is on. The other thing we need to do is we need to uh, put it in developer mode. Actually that, that last one was um, allow unknown, known resources. This next one is developer mode or um, a, a debugging mode. So after we click on about phone, we need to click on software info. And you see here the build number. If we tap on this build number seven times, it will put it into uh, developer mode or USB debugging. And you can see that as soon as I tap on it once, it says I'm already in developer mode. But if you tap on this seven times, it will put your device in developer mode. And that's as simple as that. We are now um, ready to do an acquisition, uh, data recovery using the phone recovery stick. All right, now that we have um, set the phone into the right settings, we're going to plug the phone into your computer. And when you do, you're going to hear Windows um, do its little chime that a device has been connected. We're also going to plug the iRecovery stick in, and you'll get a similar chime. When the iRecovery stick is plugged in, um, often the folder like this will pop up. If it doesn't, um, you may need to go to this PC or my computer and look for the phone recovery stick drive. Now the drive letter might be different um, in your computer. It doesn't matter. We're just looking for the phone recovery stick. Double clicking on it. And then we double click on the phone recovery stick software, which will open up. Now this is the main interface to the phone recovery stick. And you can see here we've got two options. We can start a recovery or we can open a workspace. A workspace is if we've done a recovery and we save that data out to review it later. That's what the workspace is. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click on that. Now if you see a phone icon here, it may not look like the device that you're, you're recovering data from, but if you see this, then it means that your phone successfully connected to Windows. If you don't see this, you may need to do some troubleshooting, and we do have a separate troubleshooting video that will walk you through some things that will help you to like look for the proper driver, um, you know, connect the cable in a different USB port, things like that, to ensure that you get a connection here and that you see the phone. When you click on the phone for um, a recovery, it's going to ask you what kind of data do you want to get. Do you want to get text data only? text and multimedia files such as photos, videos, music, things like that, or do you want everything including third-party apps? Now, of course, we're going to do third-party apps as well because we want everything we can off the phone, but that's going to take some time. Um, please keep in mind that with the large SD cards that are in um, some Android's phones, Android um, data recovery can take several hours. It can take um, just several minutes if you're doing just text data, if you're just looking for SMS messages. But if you're doing everything, it, take, it can take several hours because there's so much data to go through. And recovering of, of deleted data um, is a very slow process as it goes through every bit on that, um, on the phone memory as well as the 
um, SD card memory. So we're going to do that and we're going to allow um, the phone recovery stick to connect to the device. Now this is just reminding us that we need to remove any uh, screen passwords. Um, or that, uh, if this is an older version of Android, the phone recovery stick will rec remove any screen passwords um, for anything on um, very old operating systems or Android versions. For newer versions, we don't, don't have that ability, but it's going to attempt it if it's got an older, uh, older operating system. And then it's going to tell us that we need to unlock the file system, and as long as the phone is rooted with the newer version, Android 5 or, or, or um, newer, we will be able to unlock the file system. If it is not rooted, we will not be able to, and we will not be able to get the, the deleted data. So this is just kind of reminding us of those things. So we're going to continue, and it's going to take some time for it to connect to the device. You might hear the device disconnect and reconnect to your computer, but that's okay. That's just uh, getting everything prepared for it to recover all the data. So as I mentioned, this could take some time, so we're going to uh, let it run its course and show you what it looks like when the recovery is done. All right, so the recovery has finished, and we have all of the user data that's been downloaded from the Android device being displayed here. The phone recovery stick will get as much data from the device as possible and display it. So that means that you're gonna have a lot of user data that has not been deleted, as well as deleted data. So I'm gonna go through each of these categories and show you what kind of data we've got here. First, we have contacts, and this is all the contacts in the phone. Um, some of these phone fields are blank just because they're we, they were never filled in by the user and the phone. Next we have SMS history and MMS history. And you can see all that data and then the attachments there. Next we have call history. Then we have organizer data and this includes events that were entered in. Um, some of these events are default, some of them are entered in by users. And then calendar um, entries as well. Here we have graphics, and these graphics can be everything from graphics from um, the camera to graphics from apps. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of graphics. Here you can see there's 39,315 graphics from this device. So there are a lot of graphics that you can go through. Next we have multimedia files. And the reason that you cannot see the videos um, or listen to the music is because we do not have uh, video player within the software here. That's a pretty complex piece of software um, and it should be its own piece of software. So all we need to do to view these is right click and hit export um, or you can hit export alt if you want to export everything all at once and you can uh, view those in like Windows Media Player um, or any other media player. Next is internet, internet data. This includes URL history and search history. Recovered data. Now this is what a lot of people are interested in uh, with the phone recovery stick is the recovered data. So here we have everything from recovered MMS, recovered SMS, recovered MMS parts, and this is where we can't recover all the message but we know that there was a message there. Um, recovered MMS address, recovered call history, recovered contacts, recovered events, and then recovered files, and these files can be anything from multimedia um, to photos, but they're going to be, most of the time, they're going to be partial files, so you're going to want to uh, right-click and export these and try and open them up in a multimedia program as well. Other data is uh, system settings. And then we have applications. The first tab here is application permissions. What we try and do is we try to categorize whether an app might be uh, malicious or uh, malware and you'll see a lot of them are default apps because they have a lot of permission um, so if they have all the permissions set and high uh, permissions then they're highly suspect and you can see for example Kingo Root which is a rooting um, app um, that is a highly suspicious app but it isn't malware unless of course some people do does some people do consider something like this malware um, so that can be useful Installed applications, so this is just the rest of the installed applications and all the information about them. 
Here we have the application data that we parse out and we can show you user information. So Chrome data, everything from history, to keywords, um, downloads, cookies, and favorite icons. Messenger data, everything from raw settings to conversations. Um, so you can see the different conversations here. Now, recovered conversations, if you have an older version of Messenger on the device, we can sometimes recover deleted data. And uh, so for newer versions, we're, we're not able to get the recovered data, but for older versions, uh, we can. Skype, we have conversations, private conversations, group conversations, and call logs. And we do have other apps that we support here, but this device does not have those apps on here. So check here for the install application data for applications that we can uh, show you all the user data. Next, let's jump down here to uh, more information. Here we have device properties, bookmarks. So let's show you what a bookmark is. Come back to uh, say, let's, let's go to contacts. If we right click over somebody and we click add bookmark, we can have a short description and a detailed description on what this uh, record is. So if this is something that interests us in our investigation, and we want to um, bookmark it to be able to easily find that piece of data again. That's what bookmarks are for. We can do that with all sorts of data and you can have anything that is really interesting to you and the, and the information from this phone stored in bookmarks. Uh, acquisition, acquisition details are there and then search results. This is another great feature. Let's say we want to search for um, Liz here. You can already see that we're getting results before the search is complete, and it will take us right to that result if we double click on it. So if you have keywords that you're searching for, people that you're searching for, uh, file names that you're searching for, you can do that up here in the search function. So that is very valuable if you're uh, trying to do an investigation. So we've shown you the basics of all the data that you can have in here. So let's go over the, the menu system here. If you click here on File, these operations are very familiar because they are the same operations from the main page. So we can open a workspace. We can save the current workspace that we're working in for review later. We can start a recovery. We can export data to Excel. So all the text-based data, we can export it to Excel if you want to. Now keep in mind that if you do that, you must have a legitimate license of Excel. It won't work with the demo version of, of Office 360. Uh, you must have a full license to it. Um, so again, we're opening the workspace, so if we want to open up an existing workspace, that's where you can do it from this file menu as well. So we can go back and view properties of the, the case, bookmarks, acquisition details, extended view, and search results from this menu as well. Under tools we have options, and under options we have logging. So if we run into issues that you need to um, send us logs for our support team it might be able to help us to resolve issues this is where your default case storage storage is we recommend that you keep this uh, the same place if you move it do not move it to your um, phone recovery stick because there simply is not enough room for it to store a case file imagine a two gigabyte phone recovery stick cannot store um, data from a 128 gigabyte um, android device so just keep that in mind we can validate a workspace. This is for older versions. Um, if you have a way old version of, of a workspace, you can uh, convert it up to the newer version. Uh, we can check for updates. And as I've mentioned before, if you want to, um, every time you open up the program, I recommend that you check for updates just in case we've released a new version. And then we have the help file as well. So if you're um, unable to get something to work right, you can refer to the help file. Or as I've mentioned before, you can come back and uh, visit us at www.paraben-sticks.com slash support. We have more tutorials such as this and you can contact us directly. So that does it for the phone recovery stick tutorial. Thank you for joining us today.